fake news. Welcome to today's headline. Military takes action as terrorists from different states converge to attack Zamfara for refusing to dialogue. Military takes action as terrorists from different states converge to attack Zamfara for refusing to dialogue. So my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. The Nigerian Air Force NAF and ground troops of Operation Adding, Dajil have reportedly killed scores of terrorists. According to the report, the troops were responding to distress calls from locals following a terrorist attack in Malele community. Resident says bandits from different camps in Zamfara, Katsina, Nigel and Cardona state converged to attack the community. Many people have lost their lives following a clash between a Janami and terrorists in Zamfara State. The incident occurred when troops were responding to distress calls from locals. The locals were under attack, attacked from bandits who came from different camps. Specifically, the bandits came from Katsina, Nigel and Kaduna to attack Malele, Rowan Tofa, Zamalafial and other neighboring communities under the Sadao Emirate. The attack was in response to the community's refusal to dialogue with the bandits. Punch newspaper report. According to a resident of the community, after the distress call was sent out, the joint security forces who came to the people's aid forced the terrorists to flee into the neighboring Mutamji community, Sarah reporter stated. He, however, said some casualties were recorded in the course of repelling the criminals. Stakeholders, Lord Chief of Staff Irabo Military and Improved Security ahead of polls. Meanwhile, the Center for African Liberation and Social Economic Rights, CULSA, Says Nigerian armed forces have demonstrated preparedness and zeal towards a credible, transparent, and violent free elections in 2023. The stakeholders noted that the apolitical stance of the military is reassuring and enough reason for Nigerians to celebrate the protection and preservation. Preserver- Perseveration of the nascent democracy. Speaking at a press conference attended by Legit.ng on Wednesday, December 14 in Abuja, Executive Director of Colsa, Cecilia Ikechuku, described the Chief of Defense Staff CDS, General Loki Irabadi, as the game changer. In the war against insurgents, 
bandits and other criminals. She said as a leader, the CDS understands the value of teamwork, which he has entrenched since his appointment. We are winning the war against terrorism, says Chief of Year Staff. Recall that the Chief of the Year Staff, Year Marshal Ola Dairamao, recently declared that the Nigerian military is gradually winning the war against terrorism. According to Ye Marshal Amao, the magnanimity of President Muhammad Buhari in providing the Nigerian Air Force NAF with new and modern platforms has, has been instrumental to the level of successes being recorded against terrorists and insurgents. He also noted that NAF's ability to effectively up operationalize their usage in the battlefield has been a determined factor in the successes recorded. The Nigerian Air Force, NAF and Grand Troops of Operation Adarin Daji have reportedly killed scores of terrorists. According to reports, the troops were responding to distress calls from locals following a terrorist attack on Malele community. Residents say it's bandits from different camps in Zamfara, Katsina, Nanjalen Kaduna State converged to attack the community. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop out the comment section.